Hello guys, this will be a small video on how to create your own uh, cover pictures for Play Night or some other frontend. Um, so you will need GIMP, so let's start by downloading GIMP. I have not downloaded the latest version myself, so I will do that now. You will download the direct version, because otherwise you need a torrent client. Now suppose you have a game let's say Samurai 2 game and you don't find any cover pictures for the game in Play Night, not with uh, the media providers, you will first need to search for a, a cover in Google but as you can see there isn't really anyone and there's not a good picture so what I do mostly then is find the, the site of the, of, the, of, the, of the guys that created the problem, the publisher so as you can see, it was a Google uh, uh, Google Play uh, game, but it also exists on PC. So let me see if I can find the site. Here is it. Visit the website, and as you can see here, if you go to games, you can see the good picture here and also a logo. So you can start by right-clicking, save image as. And it seems it's the logo, so you save the logo. But for the pictures in the back, for the picture in the background, you cannot really see it. What you can do then is press uh, F12, I think, yeah, and reload the page. And then you can see it has download. It shows you everything it has downloaded. And here you can see the game pictures. And here, that's not a good one. So let's search further. Here, that's a good one. So now you have found it, and you can right click it. Open a new tab, and here you can choose Save Image As. So also save that image. So now we have the game logo, and we have some picture we can use for the cover. Um, so let's see, GIMP has downloaded. Let me install it. English, install. So it's setting up, it's finished. So now open the pictures. Normally if you right click you can choose open with uh, GIMP I think. Yeah. So you open it with GIMP and also open the other one with GIMP. And they will display normally in GIMP. So GIMP is loading. This could take a while the very first time you install uh, the GIMP because it's searching for fonts and stuff. So yeah, here are our two pictures. You want to make sure you can see the toolbox and the layers. So sometimes it, do, it hides the toolbox, but what you can do is here with, two, with uh, Windows, show toolbox. If you click on it, it will open the toolbox. And for the layers, you can do show uh, dockable dialogs layers so let's start by creating a new picture usually a cover image at least on steam is 600 pixels wide and 900 pixels in height so it's a um, 2 by 3 ratio so create such picture uh, resize the window a bit so that you can see the, the picture the, the wall image copy the background picture copy and then paste it as you can see it does not fit but you can go to the toolbox and either right click if it's not a, if it's not on scale and you choose scale you click the background picture and you don't take the corners but you take one of the of the center centered uh, pieces and then you can resize it and you resize it so that the wall picture is covered by the 600 by 900 yellow lines so if you if you see it's okay you press scale and then you can use right click move you can use the move tool to move it around a bit to to adapt it to your liking so let's use this and then go back to the uh, logo picture you also copy it and then you choose edit paste as new layer 
And in the layer window, sometimes it's showing a floating uh, image, so you just right click it, promote to layer. And then uh, make sure the layer of the uh, logo is on top, so you can click it and drag it. Well, let me move this one down. Oh, yeah, go up. Doesn't want to do it. Let me test again. Normally you can move it up. Let me try it different way. Move layer down. Hmm. Seems it was a bug in him because it removed my picture. So let me uh, grab the. Let me paste it again. Edit, paste, new layer. Okay, now it's working. So you have the the image of your logo. You also click it. You also use the scale button, and you scale it again. If you do a color, you, you have to make sure the the little chain is chained. If you don't do that, it will. You see, it will. Uh, it will resize, but it won't keep the aspect ratio. So. I reset it, I make the chain link, and then you can move around the the image. If you pick the center thing, you can uh, remove it. So this is about a good size. You press scale, and then you can also use on the move thing the alignment uh, tool. Just click the layer of the alignment tool and the logo image, and you can center it then. So by pressing it center, and you can also say, you know, I want to have it on the bottom or on the top. Or you can use the move tool to move your vertical place first, and then only use the alignment tool to align it in the center. So this looks okay. Then you go to File, Export, As. You should use a PNG image. So let me choose uh, a good folder. Let me choose I untitled. So game cover. You export it. You export this also. And now you have your cover image. If I go to my E drive. Here is the game cover, and there it is. Um, it might look a bit um, unsharp, so you can apply sharpening filters, but it's only a quick and dirty uh, example. And now if you start your play night, uh, you can just manually select uh, the cover for your game. So let me add the Samurai game. Samurai 2, and let me add the cover. So to select the, the cover from your drive, you, you just press the plus icon. And you go to your location where you saved it. You choose the cover, save, and there is your cover. So it's really simple, it's not hard, it's always the same stuff you need to do, always selecting a background picture and, uh, and finding a game logo, and once you have those, you can pretty much create a cover image for any game you have. So I hope this was helpful, and um, see you next time.